So there you have it, your 6A Division II state championship game. The Vandegrift Vipers taking on the DeSoto Eagles, just like we all predict, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Drew Sanders, what, you call, what do you call him, the, the winningest coach in, in Vipers history? It's true. Because, it's, again, he started it in 09. Yeah. He's <laughs> the losingest coach, the no. winningest coach. He's the only coach in uh, Vandegrift Viper history. Not so. the nine-time state champ, Gary Joseph and Katie. Come he, on. Yeah, absolutely. He built that program from the ground up, and we've seen what Claude Mathis has done at DeSoto as well. This is a fascinating matchup because uh, – of the weapons that both sides have. Brayden Buchanan has just had a landmark season this year in leading this team. Alex Witt, the way they run the ball, Miles Coleman, tremendous receiver, big line play on both sides, and DeSoto with explosive playmakers. I think that's the real advantage there that Vandergrift's going to have up front. The advantage that DeSoto's going to have is star power. They are loaded. Yeah. DJ Bailey, Tiger Ride, and Trey Wisner, Jonte Cook. We didn't even mention the five-star wide receiver's name. This team is absolutely loaded. And if Claude Mathis is, is upset that they weren't the favorite this week, I've got great news for him. They're <laughs> going to be the favorite next week <laughs> against this Vandegrift squad. But this is also a Vandegrift squad that I think has relished the role of underdog. They're well, underdogs today. Yeah, it's going to be the third straight week because they were to Dripping Springs mm -hmm. in the quarterfinal. Won that one at a goal line stand there and a play at the goal line. And then they went on a walk-off field goal. Uh, they're accustomed to being in that spot. They're accustomed to being in late game situations. Uh, they're, they're very calm they're mm -hmm. very cool and collected yeah. and it's and it's reflective of their head coach drew sanders has built this program as i mentioned from the ground up and he has those guys believing you heard him say it you keep playing hard something good will happen some good things will happen whether it's a turnover by the opponent or yep. a late pass interference call against katie that helped them keep the drive going that helped set up the game winning field goal good things happen they continue to play hard that team always does mm -hmm. and they're going to need to play hard yes. against a really this really time good of year, this time of year sometimes it's better to be lucky than good yeah. uh, and keep in mind claude still looking to hoist his first state yep. championship because back in 2016 desoto eagles were led by todd peterman at that point break time here